May is a very special month. And you might be confused why I am doing an ice makeup in the middle of May. And there's a good reason for it. Many of you have heard of the ice bucket challenge. I'm doing the ice makeup challenge, which I am wanting to actually start that as a thing. So I challenge anybody who wants to be a part of this to do an ice makeup and challenge their friend to do it. Just like the ice bucket challenge, but in makeup form. People were saying kind of like ice bucket challenge is kind of stale um, as a trend, but I want to kind of refresh it, renew it into makeup form. Does anyone know what ice bucket challenge is for? If you knew it was for anything, it's for a cause. So I'll give you a, give you a few seconds to Write down your answers, no cheating. The Ice Bucket Challenge is for ALS Awareness Month, which is in May. If you don't know what ALS is, it's basically a nervous system disease that is lifelong. There's no cure for it, and eventually it's fatal. And I have a couple close friends who are dying from ALS and so this kind of hits home and that's why I'm doing this. The hair was actually inspired by Jack Frost from Santa Claus movies. Anyway guys, if you're as hyped as me for this makeup tutorial, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and smack the subscribe button and join the horsepower. Now no more horsing around, let's get right into the video and let's get started. Also guys, I just created my TikTok account and I'm starting to make content. So if you're not following me on there, please do. And you'll see this frosty character on there too and more. First of all, we need to get this chair out of the way. I don't need you anymore, chair. Next, you're gonna need, need something like a mannequin head. Move this down so you can see it better. All right, you're gonna need a mannequin head like this one or something to spray the wig with. You're gonna need some handy dandy hairspray. You're gonna need flocking spray, like the kind of S spray on snow, they spray on trees, and of course you need a wig. If you recognize this wig, it's from the Sonic makeup. How spiky it is. It's already pretty spiky, which is what we're going for. You're gonna take your hairspray, shake, 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 and you're just gonna spray the heck out of this wig while kind of running your fingers through it. So it's still gonna, it's gonna turn out to be pretty spiky. A little nervous about this part. Yeah, you're gonna take your flocking spray and I've never used this whatsoever, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna start off very lightly if it'll let me. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny. This stuff is very dangerous around your face and especially your eyes. So this is why it's really important to use a mannequin head or something to replace your head. If that makes any sense. Make sure everything is lightly coated and bingo. Man, this stuff is all over the place. By the way, this stuff is very messy. <laughs> I probably should have done this outside. It's all over my arm. Oh my gosh, look at my chair. Look at my chair. <laughs> Moving on to makeup, the first thing I'm gonna do is paint my entire face white. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an eyeshadow similar color to like the wig. Doesn't have to be exact, but some sort of blue. And I'm gonna use that eyeshadow to sketch out my um, breaking ice, breaking the ice as they say. Next thing we're gonna do is take a semi-fluffy brush like this one with the same eyeshadow and I'm gonna brush it a little bit under my nose because we're pretty cold and start doing the eyes. I'm 
with a smaller brush and darker blue eyeshadow, we're gonna darken the eyes a little bit. I'm gonna take this reflective white eyeshadow and cover the rest of the lid in it. Next thing I'm gonna do is line my eyes and add the mascara. I'm gonna take another clean fluffy brush and kind of use, where to go? I'm gonna use that same white eyeshadow that we put on the lid and I'm gonna lightly brush over right under the brow bone. The ice bone, the ice brow bone. Going back to the cracks, I'm gonna be doing the shading. Um, pretty much two blue colors we're gonna be shading. Um, starting off with the same blue that we've been covering our whole face with and then a darker blue. So whatever you have, it'll do. You're gonna kind of be shading into the cracks so they have more depth, kind of making the cracks look like they're on top of each other. Now I'm going to mix together black and blue body paint and just start kind of outlining the darkest uh, cracks. You can even use quite a bit of water with blue paint to make it very light and fill in like those lighter areas that the cracks aren't there as much. Now I'm using a lot of water and a little bit of blue paint just to kind of make these mini crack textures within the cracks. So we're getting pretty detailed now. All right, I'm gonna be using white body paint for two things. First of all, I'm gonna be making bright highlights next to the darkest shadows. White's also gonna be playing a role of making kind of like texture within the cracks. Cracks within cracks. <laughs> Well, what do you think of the wig? I'm a little bit on the fence about it, but I think for today, for pictures, it'll, it'll do. So all I gotta do now is put on my contacts, put a winter jacket on, and we're done. Stay frosty, my friends.